Hello everyone, it is me Lizzie. Welcome back to Inner Star Studios 13. Today I am so excited because this is my 100 subscriber special. Thank you so much for getting me here. I seriously can't believe it. Y'all are seriously the best subscribers any age YouTuber has ever had. One thing before we start is I got so many questions for my Q&A. I sadly will not be able to answer every single one of them. Even if I didn't answer your question, didn't mean I did not want to or I didn't like the question. It just means I don't really have enough time to do every single question that I got. I really wish I could, but that video would end up being maybe like an hour long. I have no clue, but I tried to pick my favorite questions out of all the questions asked. So that is just a heads up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first set of questions comes from the AG camera. And her first question is, what got you into dolls slash photography? I think this is a very good question. Now, I had dolls a long time before I ever started doing AG2. Me starting making videos and doing photography came about really in 2019 when me and my best friend in real life, June from AG Academy of Productions, started our shared album. We would post photography on there and videos of our dolls. It was really fun to make over about the year and a half that we did that. We still have a shared album now though where we post things that we don't post on our YouTube channel. But about in August and September, I decided that I wanted to finally share my videos with the world. So I was actually planning for my YouTube channel for about two to three months and thinking about names and what kind of content I would post. And I really, really like doll photography because it's like taking pictures of a model, but you don't really need the actual person to take photos of. You can just bring your doll and put them to, in whatever clothing and whatever pose you want. And I think it is just very enjoyable. Her second question, and the last one that I'm going to be answering, answering from her is, what is your next sub goal? So before I answer this, I treasure every single one of my subscribers because I think it's just so awesome and cool that everyone who subscribes to me takes time to actually watch my videos. That really means a lot. But my next sub goal would probably be 150 subscribers. So the next set of questions comes from Wikidolls and her first question is, what is your favorite subject in school? Now this is actually very hard for me because I really enjoy school. I am homeschooled, but I go to a homeschool group with a lot of my friends and I get to see them. So shout out to any of you if you are watching. So, but my favorite subject in school would probably either have to be Latin or literature and writing. I really like Latin because it's learning a new language and I think that's just really cool. And I really like literature and writing because I like writing scripts and I love reading. And her second question and the last one I will be answering from her is, what is your favorite off-brand doll? Now there are actually a lot of pretty good off-brand dolls. I don't usually use them on this channel, but I still enjoy some of the off-brand dolls. But my favorite would have to be the Queen's Treasures dolls just because they are about the same quality as American Girls. They aren't the exact same, but um, the Queen's Treasures company is a very, very good doll brand and I would recommend you check them out. So. The next set of questions comes from Sophie AG, and her first question is, any tips slash advice for new age YouTubers and growing on YouTube? The first tip I would probably have would be to vary your content. That would probably mean that you should try to not just post one type of video. So for instance, instead of just posting AGSMs, you could post AGSMs and lifestyle videos or maybe doll reviews or other things like that that could interest a more wide variety of people who could also enjoy your channel. And one thing for growing on YouTube is probably it just takes time. Don't feel like people don't like your channel or your channel is bad. It just probably hasn't been found yet. That doesn't mean people don't want your creativity. It's probably amazing, so don't let that get you down. Growing takes a lot of time. Her next question is, what do you use to film and how did you get so good at it? Aw, thank you so much. I really don't think I'm that good at it, but that is really, really nice. But I actually use an iPad Air 2 to film and I use a lot of apps on it to help me create stop motions and help me create slides 
and all that fun stuff. And one thing for getting better um, with your videography skills is just practice. If you go back and just watch my videos from a few months ago, they really aren't that good. So it's just, it's just a time thing and it really takes a long time. And her last question that I'm going to be answering is, how did you find HE? Now, I actually remember a lot of different things from when I was younger, but the most prominent is I remember watching the American Girl movies long before I ever knew they were actually dolls. I also was getting the catalogs when I was younger, but I wasn't really interested because I was probably too young to realize what they were. And I had just seen them over time and really liked to play with them. And after a while, and when I was finally old enough, I was able to get one of my own. So yeah, thank you for the questions. So the next question comes from Thea Wilcox and she asks, what is your favorite place to find miniature items? I think this is a very good question and definitely one that I have not heard a lot of people answer before. One place that I really have enjoyed finding stuff recently is actually the Dollar Tree. I got a dollhouse for Christmas and a lot of the things I used to decorate it are actually from the Dollar Tree and they just have a lot of cute miniature items. So if you are an AGTuber or AG collector and you really like miniature things, I would really advise you to go there. So the next question comes from Moon Dolls and she asks, what is your favorite thing to watch? So this would actually be AG2. I really don't watch a lot of shows or any movies or anything just because AG2 is really um, one of my favorite things to do and sh I'm just shocked by how creative everyone is in this community and I really like watching everything that y'all come up with. So this next set of questions comes from Kit and Eva Productions and her first question is, what is your favorite doll as of right now? Now this would probably be either Leah, just because she's looking so cute in the outfit she is in, or Bethany, just because she is in AGBPS, that is Winky Dolls' photography contest, and I always love dressing her, and I have grown obsessed with her bangs. Like, how could you not love her? And then the next question is, what is a new name that you currently like for maybe a new doll or custom? So, the, I really like the name Skylar Elise. And I am actually going to be customizing Caroline soon. Hopefully I will have a few vid videos on that and I might change her name to Skylar, I don't know. Tell me if you like that name in the comments. And then the last question that I'm going to be answering from her is what drove you to make your channel? Now this is a, also a very, very good question. My answer would probably be um, just my love for dolls and videography combined. I feel like, um, going onto YouTube would help inspire me to just make my quality of my videos better and it would just overall be better for me to maybe grow in contact with other people and other people who really share this passion just like me. So yeah. So this next set of questions comes from Blue Tide AG and her first question is, how many dolls do you have? I actually have 13 dolls. Her next question is, what is a dream doll that you don't have? So that would probably be Marie Grace, just because I think her face mold is so unique and beautiful. Um, also, I don't have any face mold like that, and one day when I'm older, I hope to have all the face molds, just not for now, just because I have 13 dolls and I'm in a Star Studio 13, which I think is cool. So her next question is, do you have any other hobbies than AG? And I actually do, I have a lot. I play a lot of sports, mainly basketball. I do music, I play piano, and sometimes sing, but very rarely. And I also do art. I took an art class, um, which I have done for a really long time. I think ever since I started making AG2, actually no, before that, since I was nine actually. So that's long before AG2. But thank you, these are great questions. So this last set of questions comes from Ancient Crown AG. And her first question is, who is your most photogenic doll? This would either be Leah, Grace, or Mary Ellen. Leah, just because she's just very naturally photogenic and I think her hair and her skin tone mix very beautifully. Grace, just because I love the Josephine face mold 
mixing with brown hair and blue eyes. And probably Mary Ellen. Actually, I really don't know why. She was the first doll that I really started taking a lot of doll photography with, and I just really liked taking photos with her for some reason. And the last question of the night is, which of my dolls do I look the most like? And this question is actually Grace Thomas. I actually bought my number 23 to look like me, but after a while, I just didn't look like her anymore. I look like Grace because I have brown hair, blue eyes, and freckles. So since I can't show my face, Grace is a pretty good representation of what I look like. So everyone, that about wraps up this Q&A. I hope you had a good time learning a little bit more about me, my channel, and my dolls. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will just answer them for you down below. And of course, thank you so, so much for 100 subscribers. I cannot believe we got here this quickly. This is absolutely incredible. Also, before we go, I would like to give a few shout outs to just some people who have been supporting my channel a lot since the beginning. So first of all, AG Doll Fan Forever, The AG Camera, Winky Dolls, Ancient Crown AG, Kit and Eva Productions, and of course, AG Academy and Productions. So, so thank you all so much for supporting my channel and just helping me and encouraging me to uh, further extend my content. And just thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye everyone. Oh, hi there. It's Caroline here. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and a sweet comment left down below. And remember to turn on that notification bell so you always know when we post a new video. And as always, remember to subscribe. Join the family. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>